Hi Aries, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, this is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your August 11th through the 20th, 2018 reading for you. Now I've shuffled and meditated upon the cards, and we are going to see what these 10 days hold for you. Aries, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. All right, and if you guys would like to book a private reading with me, all that information will be in the description box below. This is beautiful. Wow. Okay. Give me a moment to take it all in. All right, Aries, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. Your first card here is the Empress. And what I love about this card is that you, as an Aries, are represented by the Emperor in the Major Arcana deck. So the Empress here is telling me to tell you that your greatest strength in these 10 days is going to be your kindness, is going to be your compassion and your understanding, your love for yourself as well as for those around you, but really focusing in on making sure that you're not proving yourself to yourself, but kind of living your best life, doing and taking in the messages that are coming into, into you, that are around you, making sure that you are moving forward in healing, in prosperity, in joy, and in happiness. All right, but the Empress is also somebody who is astoundingly strong, just like her counterpart, the Emperor. She doesn't take any nonsense from anyone. She knows her worth, she knows her place in life, and she embodies all four of the Queen cards. She is the Queen of Cups, she is healing, she is compassionate, she is loving. She is the queen of wands. She is fiery. She is creative. She is passionate. She is the queen of pentacles. She is prosperous and a person that people turn to for advice. She is the queen of swords. She knows her own mind and is not going to put up with anybody's bull, pretty much. So here, this card is saying that you are representing all the queen cards within the tarot deck. And you are representing the softer side of your birth card with the Empress here. So these 10 days are all about listening to your inner power, doing what is right for you, being strong, being confident, being competent, knowing how to guard yourself because as you're embracing your strength, you are going to have people who are going to try and knock you down, try to make you feel as if you're not doing the right thing. Keep on moving forward. Know that you are on the right path and you are achieving greatness, whether that greatness be huge or whether that greatness be small and impacting only yourself and your family. It doesn't matter. It is greatness nonetheless, so don't lose sight of that. Your next card is the Ace of Cups. This is the divine, the universe, God, source, spirit, however you see it, handing you a gift of love, of prosperity, of joy, of happiness, of, as if you're feeling more comfortable within your skin because the doubts, the fears are being washed away. And it doesn't mean that you're going to wake up and you're going to exactly know your purpose, but you have the strength to know your purpose. You have the desire to really embrace who you are, what you're doing, and where you're going. And these 10 days are all about embracing it through love, embracing yourself through love, through understanding, through compassion. These waters, here, your cup is running over, is overflowing with love, with joy, with spiritual abundance, with what you need to be able to sit there and be calm and secure within yourself and move forward and achieve your goals. No matter what those goals are, you will be achieving it through love, through understanding, through joy, through happiness. And this even means that as you move in these 10 days, you're going to love stronger, deeper, and more passionately. With majesty, with purity of intention, you're moving forward, giving yourself wings. If you see that here, the wings in the card. So don't doubt yourself. Don't sit there and let yourself say that you're never going to put down the burdens because the 10 of wands is telling me that you have been carrying your creativity, your passion, your desires for a really long time and it hasn't come to fruition yet. You haven't 
seeing all your hard work and your labors pay off, especially in the, in the direction that you're going right now. But know that you're carrying this dream for a reason. You're carrying this passion for a reason. Everybody's put on this planet for a reason. And yours is to move forward with your passion and your creativity. To put yourself first. Remember, you are an empress. No matter what your gender is, this is saying, this, the cards read energy. So this is saying that you are moving forward in love. Twice royal, okay? She's wearing the torque around her neck and the crown upon her head. And don't, don't worry about fixing the problems for everybody else. The only thing that you can do and the only way that you can achieve and succeed is by focusing on what you need. So you go around and you gather up everybody else's problems because they feel comfortable sharing it with you and you make them feel lighter because you're taking on their burdens. It's time to put down the burdens. It's time to put down the burdens that you've been carrying for yourself and that you've been carrying for everybody else. Sometimes the greatest gift we can give to people is to teach them how to fish instead of fishing for them. So putting down the burdens and going to that place that is comfortable for you. It doesn't need to be a palace. It doesn't need to be some place where everybody looks and is envious. It needs to be that place where you are comfortable, secure, and absolutely blessed. And you put down your passions and your creativity there. You put down your earthly desires, what you wish to be creating as you move forward. And you're going to see that you are moving forward in joy and prosperity. You are moving forward with that innocence that we have as little children before the world tells us, you know, you can't succeed. Now, the flip side to the Six of Cups for me is when you are little and you think you can't fail at anything, but then people come around and start telling you, oh no, you really can fail. You really aren't as good as you think you are. What gives you the right to believe that you can succeed? And when we're little, we internalize those words. We internalize them when we're older too. But this is the first time you hear them. You hear that you can't succeed. You hear that you're not going to achieve. And what these two cards are saying, the Ten of Wands and the Six of Cups, is to release that burden that you've been carrying. And you may have been carrying it for years upon years, even decades, of something a parent said, a teacher said, a classmate said, that has made you doubt yourself to this day. But you know what? You are the Empress, and you are moving forward in love. So do not let these words, these past hurts, these scars, keep you from achieving, because you have great things ahead of you, Aries, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. And you do not need this nonsense coming in. Because once you let go, and you accept, yeah, that was the past. That pain, it hurt. It really did. But because of that, I know now what I don't want to be. And I don't want to be that person who's a naysayer to those around them. I don't want to be that person who shatters little kids' dreams. Because what type of bully is that? And now, start loving yourself in the way that you did when you were little in the way that you did before you learned that there was failure and pain and sorrow. And then once you start loving yourself that way, you're going to share that love with the people that are around you, with the people who are closest to you, and you're going to see that it opens the door for even greater love to come into your life. Now we have the Three of Cups, which as you guys know from previous videos, it isn't my, one of my favorite cards to see. In a relationship, it means there could be dishonesty, there could be cheating, in friendships, in life, it means that there's somebody who's sitting there smiling to your face and saying, of course you can do it, of course I believe in you, and then just waiting for you to fail or talking about you behind your back. It could be the same thing in work. That person who is sitting there and you think, wow, that person really has my back, and it winds up that they don't. Know that this card, if you focus on it, and it's the only thing you focus on, the way they betrayed you, and the way that, you know what, it always happens this way. I trust somebody, I give somebody that, you know, that respect, that honor that they, I think they reserve, deserve, and now I'm being betrayed again. It can rob your whole 10 days, and it can put you back to a place where you are really down, really sad, and not seeing all the blessings that are around you. 
don't let this take it away from you. These people, and if it's in a relationship, know that since we have the Empress and the Ace of Cups here, know that you, you got this. If it's not this person that you're with, if you find out that they are untrue, if you find out that you know, they're talking behind your back and they say one thing, but they, they're doing the other, walking away with the Ten of Wands, taking your passions, your creativity, walking away is going to be the best way to resolve that. Not to sit there and scream and yell and get angry because you're giving them power. You're giving them energy. Even if it's negative energy, it's still, they're robbing the beauty from your life. Sit there and say, you know what, okay. I'm moving on. And then if you can't, you know, just walk out right away. Don't think that that's going to be horrible. Sit there, make your plan, and move forward. Whether this be a romantic love, whether this be a work relationship, whether this be friendship, it's reevaluating and not letting this person have that power to be a snake in the grass. Because once you reclaim your power, and once you kind of sit there and sever ties with people who don't have your best interest at heart, you have the Sun card, which is the happiest card in the whole entire deck. You have this joy, this happiness, this prosperity coming into your life, brightening up, not only these 10 days, but the days, the weeks, the months, the years to come. As you embrace you, as you embrace what sets your heart on fire and what makes you joyous, you move forward in prosperity. So whatever it is that you're looking to achieve, Aries, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, and this is a general reading, so it's going to be different for every single one of you. Whatever it is that you're looking to achieve and succeed at, you will. You absolutely will. Your next card is the Knight of Swords. Well, your next card, your clarifying cards, are the Knight of Swords and the Universe card. So the Knight of Swords is saying, you know your mind, you know what you want to do, and you might know it so well that you're like, okay, I'm going to act right now. I'm going to act right now, and this is what I'm doing. Step back just a little bit. It doesn't have to be done right at this moment. It has to be done logically, purposefully, and joyously. But you're moving forward. You're moving forward absolutely, knowing what it is that you want, knowing where it is that you're going, and you've got this. Now, this could also represent an air sign coming into your life, a Libra, an Aquarius, a Gemini, who helps bring you this clarity. Or who, if you are looking for a relationship, who comes in kind of at that moment where you sit there and you're like, no, I'm busy. I am working through a lot of things. I just, I just got out of something heavy. I don't need this right now. But they're at the exact right place at the exact right time. And you see that they are an easy person to talk to. It doesn't mean that you are going to be romantically involved with them, though it could. It means that they are going to give you guidance and understanding that's going to make things easier. And you're going to feel better once you have spoken to them. For those of you who aren't going to speak to a, an air sign, because again, this is a general reading, who helps bring you clarity, this is your clarity of your own mind. You have your armor on, you know the darker side of human nature, and you're not letting people beat you down. It's like no more. I'm charging forward in my own life, and because you're charging forward in your own life, you are bringing about endless prosperity, abundance. This is the world card in the minor, in the minor, in the Rider Wright tarot deck. This is the Llewellyn tarot. In the, this is the Llewellyn tarot deck, and here it is the universe card, which means that the whole universe is opening up to you. The whole universe is opening up. You're given a blank slate. Everything is washed clean, white and crystalline for you. There are no boundaries here. You are made of air and snow, and you are set free from the constraints of before. In the Rider Wright tarot deck, it was a person in a reef around them, clad in a purple ribbon of majesty. They're in a wreath of victory, holding up two wands in victory, knowing that they have kind of the world on the string, they know what they want, they know where they're going. You know what you want, you know where you're going. And you're moving forward in victory because you are believing in yourself, you are believing in the power of your mind and your understanding, and you're not letting the past and nasty people just 
people who don't have your best interests at heart take away your present. Because here's what it is. I'm just gonna move these around just a little bit. That's it. You start off with the Queen of, with the Three of Cups, betrayal. Just feeling as if, you know what, really, again, someone who isn't wishing you well, someone who is talking behind your back, someone who isn't being faithful to you. Some sort of betrayal is happening in these 10 days that if you let it can become the whole focus of these 10 days, can become just encompassing and anger invoking. And it brings up pain from the past. It brings up something that you're looking at it and you're saying, it's not only just this betrayal, but it's the betrayal from when you were younger, when you were a teenager, earlier, just early on in your life, where, you lo where you're looking at it and saying, you know what, I knew I shouldn't have trusted them. I knew I shouldn't have done this. And the fact of the matter is, that's not the truth. The truth is that they betrayed you over whatever their own insecurities, their own problems. And they have given you the opportunity to look at it and say, no more. No lo longer am I looking at pain as something bad. I'm looking at pain as a growth, as a way to face demons, understand myself better, and move forward in my life because I'm not having these chains on me anymore. And once you look at pain with love at your center, you see that it's not, it doesn't hold you back as much as it once did. And you're starting to break the shadows of the past. And because you're breaking the shadows of the past, you are embracing the Empress. You are embracing love and understanding and majesty for yourself. Moving forward in healing, in purity of intention, in victory. Follow the messages that you're getting because your intuition is going to be very strong. And you're moving forward in power of self and power of might, of knowing that you are doing the very best that you can, that you've always done the very best that you can, and not holding yourself to other people's expectations, but holding yourself to your own expectations and your own desires for your future. Letting go of your burdens, putting them down, and embracing what it is that you want from life, not letting your desires, your passions, not carrying them around with you and letting them bow you over and not carrying the desires of other people with you. Sitting there and saying, you know what, now I am embracing the Empress. I am living for myself in a loving, healing, kind, caring, compassionate way. And I'm going to take down everything that I've desired and carried with me and might look at as failures that I haven't achieved it yet. I'm going to put it down and say, I'm working forward towards my dreams, towards my goal and start embracing your passions, your creativity, because no longer is the past having chains over you. You're moving forward in happiness because you're taking the reins and you're moving forward in happiness and passion of purpose and purity of self with your passion, your creativity guiding you forward. And because you have done this 180 of thinking, God, source, spirit, however you see the divine is handing you a gift of love of healing, of purity of purpose, of giving your soul wings and you moving forward, achieving exactly what it is that you want to achieve and doing so with love at your center. And that love is going to ripple out and affect everyone that you meet. And you're going to sit there and they're going to say to you, you know, my goodness, it has made me feel so much better just being next to you. Or they might not say that, but people seek you out because you're just such a positive person to be around. Because the love that you have gotten from the universe is overflowing from your cup and it is going outward and bringing love around you. Not for everybody, it won't work on everyone. Some people just don't like to be happy, okay? So if it doesn't work on everyone, don't sit there and be all upset, but it is working little bit by little bit and you're going to see that it actually keeps on brightening your day, 
frightening yourself, frightening your life. You know your mind and you're moving forward, absolutely accepting your glory, absolutely accepting what you achieve. Not saying, oh no, I'm not worthy of this. Saying, yes, I am worthy. I'm going to keep on powering forward. Just remember your mind is going to be really brilliant in these 10 days. So thinking, but maybe waiting a little bit to act just to make sure you have everything all lined up. But the whole world, the whole universe is opening up to you, Aries, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, and you are achieving fantastic things. All right, I hope this reading resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. Bye.